Hello boys and girls, this is Quoth, and I farmed Triangle until High Runes. I did 1000 runs, cause I could not find High Runes in my previous sessions, that clocked over 80 hours. The only two were Ohm from a clickable and Vex in a group run. But here is a big announcement, on June 23rd there will be a 2 years anniversary of the channel and I plan to stream all day here on YouTube with different events and giveaways. Make sure to come and join the fun, also would appreciate if you can help me push subscribers count for that occasion. And my gratitude goes to all the recent supporters, thank you very much guys. I did all the runs on the Battle.net solo with Feast of Heaven's Paladin and roughly 200 mf. Now, apart from those usual trunk gloves, my first good job happened on the run 109, martial arts skiller with 12 FHR. Now the next one already on the run 125. This is a unique eldritch orb and sad amulet, let's see what it is. This is a shooter with two sorcerer skills, not too good this time, an amulet was probably a tank reds. Actually, Feast of the Heavens Paladin is pretty decent here, especially with the packs, and then you switch to the Holy Bolt and you deal with strugglers. But here is a unique Atinax. This is a Rune Master, 4 sockets again. But just 6 runs later, I find this unique Serpent Skin Armor. That's a decent one. Let's check the roll. This is Skin of the Viper Magi with 29 all res and 13 magic damage reduction. That's decent. Now it seems that in every farming session of Travinkol I find these gloves, vampire bone ones. Let's check this out. Draco's Grasp, very decent ones. Now again, here is another Grand Charm from Travinkol. You know that Travinkol is very good for those. 9 to max damage, 50 attack rating and 5 to strength. One third of a run seen and I find Ceremonial Javelin. These are of course Titan's Revenge and they roll 200 perfect ED. 50 runs later I find good rare ring. It's not a god tier but I think it's quite decent, let's check it out. Attack rating, high life leech, cold res, mf and a little bit of mana. And there we go, unique ring from Triangle. I think in total I found around 10 of them, let's see this one. Holy man, 5 life leech bull cathas wedding band, this is a good find. And here is a nightmare of every YouTuber. I actually forgot to record for the last 2 hours, so only after that I realized that 160 runs after I found a pool rune. I lost a couple of drops and by now I don't even remember what were those grand and small charms, so couldn't really recover it. But this small charm is... 11 lightning res and 9 extra gold find, this is actually very good. Obviously Triangle is very much known for runes, charms and jewels, so let's check another one. This is a poison and bones killer, very good. Some casual heavy belt in here, let's check this one. This is a gold wrap with 73% extra gold fine. And we are nearly 700 runs in with only pool runes, guys, this is insane, what's happening? I am really losing hope in my RNG. Well, at least I find this sick grand charm, 1 to lightning skills and 35 to life, this is really good skiller for my sorceress. And here even the game lagged so hard, look at this. This is insane, a charm rune. <laughs> Seriously game, after 766 runs you give me a charm rune, one of the most not desired ones? Come on, don't do it to me. Here is a Templar code, actually the first one in this season for me, I'm super surprised, usually I get so many of those, but I guess it's same as the Scholars. This one is Gordian Angel with 192 ED. But these drops deserves to be a full run, let's check it out. 
run 828. What happens here? A soul rune and a jar rune. Look at these boys, finally! <laughs> Oh my goodness, this was just a revelation. I was already screaming on top of my lungs where the runes at. Now, funny enough, just two runs later, we get something decent as well. Let's check this Grand Charm. But gold comes first, of course. This is a cold killer for sorceress, not too bad. Here is another drop that in my opinion deserves a trophy room entrance. I have never seen anything close to that in my life. Let's check it out. This is so sick. This is 5 FHR 320 small charm. This is just so rare and great, really guys. And then you can see already on the run 943 I started streaming, actually that was my first stream and the last 100 runs happened here on the stream. And we found some goodies, 50 no resin, 35 extra gold grand charm, this is really good one. And like 15 runs later I believe comes another small charm that is quite useful. This one is 7mf1. Quite a usual weapon that I want ethereal, and it's not as always, of course. This is Bone Hue with 302 enhanced damage. And now, guys, I really want you to pay close attention to those ghoul lords. Look at them, look what happens. They die, and something hurls in the air. What is it? This is a freaking law rune. <laughs> so finally my RNG gave up and started to give me runes seriously, just about 850 runs for my first jar rune and then another 100 runs for the low rune, seriously game, that is sick, really awesome. And here is another drop that I only noticed later in the pile of all the loot, this is unique tiara. Let's see the roll of this one. This is Kira's Guardian with 66 Aures, pretty good one as well. Now guys, you can see the best drops of this session, obviously the Jar Rune, the Lore Rune and this insane 5 FHR 3 damage and 20 AR small charm are probably the best ones. It took me almost 17 hours, I found 3 high runes, 1 mid rune, so I would really appreciate if you give a like for the efforts and if you enjoyed this video of course. Thank you guys and see you next time.